Hi everybody and welcome to another story time with Alicia. This week we're going to do uh, our theme will be numbers and counting. So we're going to read a book about numbers and then we're going and first I'm going to sing listening two songs um, counting songs and then our craft is going to be kind of a craft and and a game. So I'll show you that at the end. So for now, here are our songs. And the first one goes like this. Five little speckled frogs sitting on a hollow log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are four speckled frogs. Ribbit, ribbit. Four little speckled frogs sitting on a hollow log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are three speckled frogs. Ribbit, ribbit. Three little speckled frogs sitting on a hollow log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are two speckled frogs. Ribbit, ribbit. Two little speckled frogs sitting on a hollow log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is one speckled frog, ribbit, ribbit. One little speckled frog sitting on a hollow log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. She jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no speckled frogs. Where are they? They're all swimming in the pool. Okay, here's the second song. Two songs today. This one is um, in dedication to Miss Carrie, the librarian, because you always sing this at story time when it was happening a long time ago. And it's Five Little Monkeys. It's one of the versions, okay? So it goes like this. Five little monkeys swinging in a tree, teasing Mr. Crocodile, can't catch me, you can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Crocodile, as quiet as can be, and he snuck that monkey right out of that tree. So there's four little monkeys swinging in the tree, teasing Mr. Crocodile, can't catch me, you can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Crocodile, as quiet as can be, and he snaps that monkey right out of that tree. So there's three little monkeys swinging in the tree, teasing Mr. Crocodile, you can't catch me. You can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Crocodile, as quiet as can be, and he snaps that monkey right out of that tree. What is it, two? Two little monkeys swinging in the tree, teasing Mr. Crocodile, you can't catch me. You can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Crocodile, as quiet as can be, and he snaps that monkey right out of that tree. There's one little monkey swinging in a tree, teasing Mr. Crocodile, you can't catch me, you can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Crocodile, as quiet as can be, and he snaps that monkey right out of that tree. And now they're all gone. The crocodile got him. I think they needed to stop teasing Mr. Crocodile. Okay, so today's book is called 1098 by Molly Bang. And... It's a counting book. So let's count along with the numbers in the book. Ten small toes, all washed and warm. Let's make sure there's ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is that how many toes you guys have? All right, nine. Soft friends in a quiet room. Let's count all the soft friends in the room. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That looks like that might be the pet kitty. Eight square window panes, falling snow. 
count the window panes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven empty shoes in a short straight row. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Does it look like there's one missing? These match, these match, these match. Uh oh, they lost a shoe. Six pale seashells hanging down. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. My kitty's falling around. Five round buttons on a yellow gown. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Four sleepy eyes which open and close. Let's count four eyes. One, two, three, four. Two are open, two are closed. Three loving kisses on cheeks and nose. That one's hard to count. We'll just pretend. One, two, three. Three kisses. Two strong arms around a fuzzy bear's head. One, two. And one big girl all ready for bed. Going to sleep. The end. Okay, so for the craft today, which is going to be a craft and a game, you're going to need just not very many things. You'll just need a pipe cleaner. You just pick one for each person playing the game and doing the craft. And um, you'll need a, a die, six sided. Or however many sided, really. And then you'll need just a bunch of beads. We always have a bunch of beads lying around that we don't always use, so it's a good way to use them. So, um, since this is a game and you play it with, you know, more than one person, um, you know, more than just yourself, I have a volunteer to help me play the game. So go ahead and pick your pipe cleaner, lovely volunteer. Okay. And then I will pick one. Okay, this one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll the die and whatever number land it lands on. Like so so you would take a turn first, you'd roll it, whatever number it lands on, that's how many beads you put on your pipe cleaner. And then it'll be my turn and I'll roll whatever number I land on, that's how many beads I put on mine. And we could, you could do it, um, uh, we'll, we'll each roll five times, how about that? And then we'll see whoever gets the most, and we'll count all our beads at the end, whoever has the most beads win. And you can decide how many times you want to roll, but that's what we'll do. We'll do it five. You can do ten, you can do whatever, however many you think will fit on there. But we'll do five and see how, how that works. Um, but the first thing we should do is a good idea is to fold the end. Can you do this? Fold the end of your pipe cleaner <laughs> so that it goes is like this. It's folded up. That way the beads don't fall off. Can you do that? There you go. Good. So let's get started. And you can do this with maybe you could do the same game with yarn and Cheerios, whatever. Since we have beads and pipe cleaners, that's what we're doing. All right, what did you get? Two. Two. So put two beads on there. Yep, on the end that doesn't isn't folded over. And you can put it all the way to the bottom. There you go. Good work. All right. What do I get? I got three. So now I'll put three beads. And you can roll if you want. Come all the way to the end. 
My hand is not big enough, I don't think. There we go. Ooh, are you gonna pick? What did you roll? Um, two. Two again. I'm finishing my three. One, two. I'm doing a star bead. Ooh. You have a nice variety. Oh, I think you have more than me. All right, my turn. So Hi. this is this is our second roll that we're finishing. Ooh, I got five. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Uh oh. And when you do it, you could do a pattern while well, you do it too if you want. I didn't. I didn't do a pattern. If you have colored beads that can make a pattern, that's Yay. fun too. Oh my gosh, you got six. That's a lot. One. Is it all your six? Mm -hmm. Okay, now this is going to be, this will be my third roll. Two, oh gosh dang, I think you have more than me. Easier than straight. True, they they slide pretty easy with the beads. Okay, so now this is your fourth roll. Got a lot on there. Oop, one. One. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll roll nine. Two. One. Is it was this our fourth roll? Yeah, right? And this is your fifth roll, so this is your last roll. Ooh, three. three. I think I caught up maybe. We'll have to count and find out. Two. Four. A heart at the end. Five. Okay, that's how many I've got. Do you have all yours? Let's count. Count yours. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Oh, I win this time. And then, you know, what you could do at the end, if you like your bracelet, or you mean your beads in the pattern, you can turn it into a bracelet. Might be too small for a necklace, but you can tie it up at the end, wrap it around. I have, make a little I have watched so it wouldn't really look. <laughs> no, you can wear on your other wrist. Yeah, Let's see what yours looks like. Nice. Okay, so that's a fun counting game that ends in a craft, really. So hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you next.